Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome to Grace Blossoms for You. Today we are working on Roxy's weekly challenge of 2024, and I believe it is week 24. The challenge is to do um, envelopes, wrap around envelope pockets with a tab. And so I've picked out some envelopes to try. I already started and did a couple, not decorated them, but just to see how they would actually fit together or work. So how I started was I cut an envelope kind of in half. You could actually make them different sizes depending on where you cut them. Um, there's this one I made taller because it had the window in it. So I thought we could work on the outside of this one. I actually did the inside incorrectly because to have the window covered on the inside, I had to put the paper for the background right behind the window. I had already put glue down on this side, so I just put a blank piece of paper. This one won't show, so not a big deal. So anyways, that's that one. And then for this one, it's not sealed yet. So I wanna seal that up. And I've just been cutting this side. You could cut either side because you can put them on either side of the page too. And then you have to cut off the bottom. I mean, I guess you wouldn't have to. Huh, you wouldn't have to, look at that. Don't cut off the bottom. I did cut off the bottom for all of mine, but, um, and I did watch Roxy's video, but I guess I didn't clue into that part. She spent quite a bit of time um, decorating, which I don't really intend to do because that's where, that's what takes up all the time, I think. So, okay, seal that up. Yeah, that's actually handy that you don't have to cut the bottom. However, then there goes my shortcut too. All right. I'll do one open and I'll, I'll cut one at the bottom and show you what I liked about that way. If you don't have a window in it, this works really well. And that is, you just need, to, you can open this fully and then you just pick out a piece of paper to cover the outside and you use you can use some larger scraps. Um, for example, this one here. I think this one would work really well. I might not get all the rows on there, but I could also do it this way. So yeah, I'll do it that way. So then you just put some glue on. What I like about this is it gives me an opportunity to use up some of those envelopes that I've been saving. I started saving them and then I didn't know what to do with them so 
I guess it's just a matter of the right project at the right time. So like that. And then you just trim it. And I didn't get that bottom very well. And two, you can use fancy scissors. I meant to stop at the top, but I didn't. I'm going to end up trimming that straight because of the tab that we want to put in later. Okay, so then let's fold that in half again. I could make the same, but I'm just going to... Um, Straighten it up. Okay, I'm not very organized with myself this morning, so sorry about that. You actually won't see both sides, so I could have left that because the, the tab will be on this side here. So yeah, that's just the actual envelope. And then the pocket, it's a wraparound pocket. And I'm going to put one in this book here. So the tab part is actually kind of tricky because you have to do that before you glue anything in. See how it becomes a tab is you leave it sticking out at the side there. And I have my angle cut all the way. What Roxy, or Rachel rather, what, Ra what Rachel did was she snipped it off at the top there. And um, that could actually determine the depth of your tab. So like that. Then you could put some glue in here to keep that sealed. I think I would do that because, like I said, I messed up the one I already put in my ideas journal because I did not um, think of it in time. And you just have a very brief time to actually keep that as a tab. All right, so then... Do one side first, put the glue on the bottom and on the open side. on this side, glue on this side, 
and on the bottom. So there we have a wrap around envelope pocket with a tab. All right. Now I'm not going to decorate it right now because honestly, it doesn't look like to me it needs a whole lot. But for sure, you could decorate it however you like. Um, I might put a butterfly on it or a label. But yeah, I think those are really cute and a great idea. So um, I'll show you a couple more. I thought we could work on this one together one with the window so I put a, a scrap piece of paper behind there and then to do the this side I figured we'd have to collage something and I did cheat I brought some like the other day I just sat down and matched up some you know strips of scrap paper and I thought some of these would actually work quite well to cover this window. So let's see what we can do here. I always think I have a lot of scraps until I go to use them. And then I find that I don't have a lot of scraps to use. <laughs> So I don't know what that is about. So I'm just trying to cover up that edge of the window here. And then I need some more here. I thought for this this side I could do a big piece and I still have this piece of paper. I don't like the orange side. I do like that side. So I'm just going to trim part of this here. Unless I use this side. That would work. Well, it would and it wouldn't because I do like that though, but I'm going to have to trim. And two, you can just kind of redo your angle. Or I can wait until after I cover it and then use the decorative scissors. But for now, I do want to ink this up because it'll then match the other side. Something like that. So I can go straight up here. Go right by the window and then do this whole side here. This envelope is particularly special because it got caught in the rain when it got in the mailbox. So it's nice that it can still be useful. And this is just a piece of paper that I was practicing with my jelly print. 
I find it easier to decorate anything with a background like this just because it, um, I don't know, it's more vague, so. All right, I'm gonna trim this part later. For now, I'm just gonna do a rough trim and well. okay so there's not much I have left to cover just this part and this part here so not quite enough also not wide enough. Okay, so so much for that idea. That's not wide enough either. Unless I went like that. But let's see. That would work. How am I going to do that though? I think I'm going to do it in two pieces. Do a smaller piece there. I'm going to have to cover that up some, which is too bad. Oh, if I slant it, I should be okay. Okay, I'm just going to keep that. your day going? It's the end of August. Oh my goodness, it's so hard to keep up. I just feel like the summer got away on us and I've been feeling that way for the last few years. So I need one more little piece here. Okay, so then we can just trim it out. Okay. 
All right, so for the tab, I'm just gonna straighten that out there. So that should work. So I could have left that window and then whatever you stick in the window would show, but you have to decide if you're gonna have the, if you're gonna cover it or if you're gonna leave it open, I guess, so. Anyways, it would have looked good either way. So the fun with these is that you can make a bunch of them ahead of time and then decorate them and use them as you go. I already have two in my going journals, so I'll just show you what I did. Again, if I can find it now. Here it is. I did this one. This is where I put the glue in and forgot to leave the tab. But I also didn't decorate it because this is my ideas journal. And so and the idea is just to show what it is. And let's see if I pick another page here, like so. Now if I hadn't covered up the window, the paper would show. I guess it depends on which paper I would put it on to see whether I like that or not. Um, and then the other side looks like this. And again, you can decorate it however you like. I'd probably go for a cluster. And I just made a whole bunch of clusters the other day and I must have cleaned them up because <laughs> I don't know where they are. <laughs> okay, that's silly me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I do these things to myself and then I don't know where they are. Okay, so I like that one because of the colors. I also don't mind this one. But yeah, it totally helped me when I cheated by using the pre-made, I call these little collages because that's what they are. You just use strips of the scraps that you have on hand. So I like that and I will continue to make those they are quite fun to use so there's that uh, I think I showed you this one already it was a smaller one and yeah so let me know if you try that and uh, how you like it that's all I got for this time and uh, thanks for joining we'll see you again next time God bless Bye for now.